Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate a method for parameterizing a model that's not native to Inventor. I did blog about this a couple of years ago, but I don't think I ever knocked out a video. So I think this would be really helpful for certain types of equipment, fittings, etc. when you have to make tweaks and it would be easier to just tweak a model versus trying to build my own. So this is just a sample model that I grabbed. It is a step file of a lathe. And what I would like to do is make the bed adjustable. Right now it's just the step assembly that I brought in. And if I measure it, the length of this bed is 49 and kind of weird dimension inches but if I add the millimeter it's 1250 millimeters so what I want is I want that to be an adjustable distance but there are no parameters right like this is a, a step file so there are no model or user parameters so there's nothing I can do to drive this so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the direct edit tool to be able to reposition solid bodies and faces so that I can <clears throat> control the length of the bed. So before I get started, I'm gonna jump in here and create some parameters. So I do wanna capture the original length, which you'll see in just a second, oh, bed length, just in case I wanted to parameterize, parameterize some other things. Desired bed length. And then I wanna compute the difference. So bed, length change. So the original bed length was in millimeters, so I can go ahead and type in millimeters there, and we knew it was 1250. The desired is whatever we want it to be. I'll make it 50, which is just a little bit more than 1250, so we can see some things change. And then we're gonna do a formula for the bed length change. So I'm gonna grab the desired bed length, and then I wanna grab the original bed length, just copying and pasting. And I basically will say it's the desired bed length minus the original bed length. And that is going to be my delta. So if I request a bed length that is shorter than the original 1250, it will of course be a negative number. But if it's longer, then we're going to grow the length of that bed. So I'll make it 55 so it's even easier to see. So... That's the parameter setup I'm going to use. The next thing I'm going to do is simplify the model. So you can see here they've added some threaded rods. So a lot of times when I'm creating equipment, like if I'm going to make this into a factory asset where I have an adjustable bed length, I don't need to see all of this detail. So I can grab these two solid bodies and I'm going to just straight up get rid of them. And if you need those, I'll show you how to add them back in after we've made the adjustments. So parameters are set up. I've simplified it to the level that I want, at least for now. And so what I can use is this direct edit command. So direct edit is a really helpful tool that allows us to make changes to non-native geometry. And in my case, I'm gonna pick the easy stuff first. I'm gonna move some solids. So I'm gonna move this handle the end of the lathe and the motor. <clears throat> and I can define that distance here and I drag it. You can see I can reposition the solids, but we have a parameter for that. That is going to be our bed length change. So go ahead and apply that. And now you can see that those moved. So that's what we're going to do. And it's pretty neat because now it's parameterized. I can change that to any length that, that I want. The next step though, is that this is all one solid. So unfortunately I can't move that, but what I can do is I can move faces of that solid. And so I need to think about it a little bit, but I wanna grab everything that's going to move. So it's gonna be this face sort of towards the front of the lathe, but then I also want these filleted edges to move as well. We come to the backside, pick all the backside surfaces that we want to move as well, including the one that's behind. Like we don't want the plate to thicken. We want to grab the entire plate, 
grab these guys down here, this surface, the back surface here. And then if we have entire entities that we want to move, we can just select them. So for example, this bolt here, I can do a left to right selection to grab all of these bolt heads that I may want without accidentally grabbing other stuff. So that's a helpful technique to just grab the geometry that you wish. And we can also use it large scale to pick whole features like so. I think I've got everything. Oh, I missed the surface back here, so we'll grab it. You can always test it. So if I did miss some stuff, like I'll intentionally not grab these, we can grab this and reposition it. And you see how those hex heads are not moving with the operation. So what I can do is I can come back here to my faces and I can select additional features if they're not working quite the way I want. Now the other thing I can do is I can relocate the selector. And so I pick just some point here. And the whole reason I did that is now I've got the arrow pointing in the same direction as the solids. Can drag this out. Looks like I missed something because you can see this is not this is thickening in a weird way. So that's why we test it out. So what I need to do is I need to grab the inside face of this shape. So if I just let that drift for a second, oh, I guess it's not going to grab that. Let me orbit and grab it better here. That's the surface I missed. There we go. So it's not going to just thicken it. It's going to actually move that surface as well. Cool. It's real life people. So then I can grab the same parameter, right? Bed length change. And now the entire thing moves to meet the new solid. So I'll hit OK. I've got that taken care of. And now we can test it out. So <clears throat> I can come over here and we can make changes to it. I'll just drag this down a little bit. So let's say we want 60. You can see that it adjusts. And if we want something a little bit smaller, it even goes backwards, right? So it's at less than the original length. So it all works pretty slick. Last thing is if you wanted to, um, <clears throat> if you did want the threaded rods to be displayed again, you can simply create a sketch here. Oh, haha, <laughs> forgot I had that option turned on. I can simply choose to project that circle, finish my sketch, and then I can extrude that all the way to this surface. And if you wanted it to be a new solid, you could. I'm just going to join it to the, um, you know, the bed of the lathe. That's fine, the lathe body. And uh, we could do the other one too, same process if we wish. But now when we go up and change this, you can see that that will also adjust. So it grows with the shape as well. So just kind of a tip to manipulate and work with third-party geometry. This is very common when you have equipment models, but they're step files, et cetera. They're not parameterized. This gives you the ability to parameterize them to some degree using the direct edit tool. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.